Hello, Eleni Shear here and welcome to my acrylic pouring channel. Today I want to attempt another Rinske Downer inspired abstract painting. I have just recently found this beautiful artist on Instagram called Novi Lim and she's been doing this same technique for a couple of years so I need to credit this lady with this technique as well as she is just done some beautiful paintings. Um, so you can check her out on Instagram if you just put Novi, N-O-V-I-L-I-M. And you can, she, she doesn't have a YouTube channel, but you might see some um, time lapses on there. Um, but Rinska, do, Rinska Downer is doing an amazing job at this technique. It's just beautiful. I'm trying to get close to that. I've done two already, so this is my third attempt. Uh, so I use my fluid art paints, so they're mixed to a Dutch pour consistency. So I'll do that again today for the background, but then when I go to do the design colours, I'm going to use uh, paint straight out of the pot. And I'm going to try out these uh, Albia colours, and I have pink blush, aqua blush, and red blush. And I think a couple of these are a little bit iridescent, so they change colours a little bit. So that should be interesting. And my tools that I'm using are, I've sort of taped these two brushes together to get like a wider brush. And then I have this one and I'm gonna use a wide tooth comb for uh, just a sort of a little bit of a different design through it. So I'm excited. Oh, by the way, thank you so much for a thousand subscribers. I finally got there. Uh, I'm really, really grateful. And let's go and make some art. So here I am putting a base layer down and that's the light, the light grey. These are the fluid art paints that I use uh, for a Dutch pour consistency and I'm just going to get a nice base down before I start the design. I don't know why I'm using a turntable, it's just making life more difficult for me with this technique. I'll just try to remember not to use it next time. And by the way, this canvas is a 50 by 50 centimetre canvas, I don't know if I mentioned that before, and it's a deep edge. So at this point I'm still using my Dutch pour consistency fluid paints, but I'm going to introduce the colours straight out of the pot once I get a base down of the background design. So this technique is a lot trickier than it looks but once you get the hang of twisting the brush you can get some cool designs. So here I'm just building up a background design. It's a soft background before I go in for the main design. At this point, I don't know why I'm not taking it off this turntable because it keeps moving, but 
I'll do better next time. So now I'm adding my Fluid Art Titanium White by Amsterdam. And then I'm going to lay down the colours on the right there where you can see a little bit of paper and start to add my colour straight out of the bottle. Unfortunately, the camera turned off, so I didn't get the first part. But what I do is add the white and then dip my brush into the paint and go into the white and just swipe to get a design. I'm using a wide tooth comb here just to give it a different effect and it does turn out really lovely so stay till the end to see the dry results. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and if you enjoyed this video, tap the screen on the left for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.